least my suit's been out of the big stuff. That's right. What's got into you? Man, for the strongest man alive, I got captured a lot. <sighs> Who are you? I've seen a lot of weird things in my day. I was hoping the worst thing I'd have to deal with was that fiend, a life that was killing my brother. I'm only going to ask you this one time. When I attacked you, it was because I thought you were that monster, Jason King. The last I checked, he's much more powerful than you, and his outfit definitely looks different. So, who are you? I recall asking you first. The name's Jason Vero, but you can call me. The Death Avenger. <sighs> Let's see. Putting together the hints and clues that you have brought upon me. You look exactly like the one person who's running everything on this earth. And not only that, but you're trying to play mind tricks with me. <laughs> Phase Shift, also known as Alan Mexkai. I thought Dark Nova killed you. I don't know who that is. Look, I am Jason King from Earth One, also known as Supernova, not Dark. That's impossible. If you are from another Earth, you should be dead by now. What? I don't follow. You really have no idea what's happened these last couple of years, do you? Well, let me remind you. Dark Nova, Jason King, got power hungry. Started killing every superpowered being on this planet. Meanwhile, me, I've been scavenging for scraps, going around to see what survivors I can find. And now, here's you, an imposter Dark Nova, claiming to be from another Earth, which should be impossible. And the reason why that should be impossible is because. Magician put a magical barrier around this earth to where nothing can get in nor out. Just like Earth 2. It's actually where he got that inspiration. Look, trying that visor of mine, it records all of my life events. Well, at least all of them so far. But it should be enough for you to realize that I am telling the truth. Oh, you mean this visor? You know, I suppose. Hmm.
That's better. Look, I could really use your help getting out of here. Look, I may be sparing your life, but letting you go up there and do that, let alone help you, that's a lost cause. I don't think you realize what would be at stake here if you don't help. And I don't think you realize what would be at stake. This earth is practically empty. So go ahead. You ain't gonna find much. And with your powers gone, you're gonna die the moment you walk out that door. You know what? I finally see it. I see why this world died. It wasn't just because it was some powerful being attacking. It's because everyone was doing what you're doing right now. Saying everything's a lost cause. There's no hope. Well, guess what? I practically stand for hope. Not literally, obviously, but that's just the way I live. If I had no hope whatsoever, I probably wouldn't be alive right now. It's the choices you make that show what will happen. A friend of mine told me that, well, before he died. Uh, fine, I'll help you. This does not make us friends or partners. Okay, so where are we exactly? This is Fox Industries. Well, was. We're looking for a device. I've witnessed Dark Nova make it. It basically allows someone to tap into the Nova Force if they have a previous connection. I think he did it in case he lost his powers or whatever, but we're going to use it so we can get your powers back. There's just one little thing. Oh, I do hope you mean me. Who's that? Crimson Knight. I was wondering where you've been. Hasn't it been obvious? I've been hunting you down. Now, let's see what it was you wanted from me. Great, he took my sword. Hey, Nova, wake up. Who was that guy? That was Alex Fox. The one I was worried about if we came out here. He's pretty much Dark Nova's main protege. I knew this was a bad idea. And a stupid one at that. <sighs> Jason... Vero and Jason King. Well, what looks like Jason King at least. Did you really think you could sneak into my laboratory and not expect me to be guarding it or have a security system warning me that someone would be walking in? Fox, I was wondering when you'd be not cowardly enough to show your face. Ouch! And Kira was thinking that we were still friends. Listen, Tin Can. Don't you think there's a reason why I don't call you my friend anymore? You betrayed our team. The Freedom Fighters. And here you are. All of a sudden taking sides with the first powerful being you come across. And not only that, but you let your friend Elijah... Kill my brother! Hate to break it to this to you, but, uh, I ordered Elijah to kill your brother. But, have to say, I returned the favor, and I killed him myself. 
All good? Well then, I guess that means I'll have to kill you instead. Now, how on earth are you going to manage that when I'm the one who's armed here and you're not? Thanks. You wanna know why they call me the Dark Prince? Cause I get vengeance. You don't want to do this. I want you to look into my face. So you can see the eyes of the man who's about to take your life. Night of it, you don't. You stay out of this, Jason. This man is gonna die no matter what you say. The Night Avenger, I know, he wouldn't do it like this. Do I look like your Night Avenger? No! Damn it. All right, listen, the Crimson Guard's coming. You need to get out of here right now. Find the orb, get to your Earth. I'll hold off the guard. That's it. Now, how do you work? It's gotta be like a button or something, right? Oh. 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 Forgot what that felt like. I haven't felt that surge since I first got this. Powers. Now, let's go save the multiverse. I should have been here. Cap, if you're hearing this. Every day threats are getting worse, and it seems like I'm just getting weaker by the day. What would you do? Well, this is probably one of the saddest scenes I've seen yet. <laughs> Strongest man alive, and here you are moping. I hold him up. Thought you weren't gonna be here today. I didn't think I'd be here either, to be honest. Uh, the thing ended early. Uh, I just had to stop by. Besides, I left something anyway. Something here anyway. Um, I figured I'd just talk to you. You're considering doing it, aren't you? Going back, I mean. No, I, I know what I need to do. It's just... I don't know if you have the mental strength to do it, you know? Don't know if you have the strength to do it? You're a supernova and you don't think you have the strength to do this. Jason, let me tell you something. Remember what happened back at O2? Look, time, things were hard back then. I mean, you were there, I was there. <sighs> Look, if you can get over what happened then, you can get over this. And hey, I'll cover for you if the team ever asks. I suppose you're right. You wanna let the team know? <laughs> well, what would I tell them? I mean, 
If they question you, they'll question me if they find out the truth. You can do it. And hey, we can go out for shawarma when you come back. Well, I'll be back.